Sasa tunaweza kuingiza dada yetu. Women's Guild tutaimba our national anthem but with more strength tuweze kumkaribisha dada yetu katika nyumba ya baba yake. Tifusu luhu tujalie Patani shohalisi Mapenzi roze tukwani ya moja Ubariki ushi Kawe tuwe mungu mku Tujalie Ote wakutambue Uhai mungu we tumpajiro Na Jali ye kutimiza e mungu tulizozi apa kwa jina lako ya kwamba tuweneze tadhima yako tu Ngoze ewe nuru na ngao maisha dunia ni ya taka pozi mika kwa kutu pumzi ke hata milele. Tuongoze ewe nuru na ngao maisha dunia ni ya taka pozi mika kwa kutu pumzi ke hata milele Amen Bwana sifiwe Wadisho ushitoke hapo Waibaji waji hapo mbele We join in the group And we may be able to sing Let us say a word of prayer Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Accept our praises, accept our worship, accept everything we shall do in this service through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Praise team, uh, Women's Guild, we come and pato wakati ya kumsifu buwana, sababu katika hali zote, jina la buwana, lita sifiwa. Bwana sifiwe. Haleluya. Tuinue mkono tumsifu Bwana. Haleluya. God is good all the time. Amen. Tushukuru Mungu kwa mwana anastahili kuabudiwa. Haleluya. Mwamba 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 yesu die mwamba tuibe mwamba 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 yesu die mwamba 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 yesu die mwamba tuibe mwamba 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 Na wa mama, wote watasi mama Singi wao, kiwa kwenye mwamba
mwamba mwamba mwamba mwamba mwamba mwamba mwamba yesu ndiye mwamba na wote wote watasimama singi wao kiwa kwenye mwamba 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 yesu ndiye mwamba na vijana wote watasimama kwenye mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba tuipe mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba Wegai 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 Wake up.
umetutendea na natuambia kwamba any time wakati wote ukamshukuru na kusema kwamba yanastahili Heri wa mtumaini o bwana wa mtumaini o bwana heri wa mtumaini o bwana watapata balaka heri wa mtumaini o bwana wa mtumaini o bwana heri wa mtumaini o bwana Sanda 
Kwa maana kwako tunajua msaada wetu watoka kwako Jioni leo tuajua shiria mikononi mwako Tunasema ni asante ni kwa ukuhu bwana Ubali huu umetuleta wewe ni Ebenezer Tunasema hakuna Mungu kama wewe Pokea ziva zetu wa jioni ya leo Pokea na utukufu kwa maana ni zako Tuajua shiria mikononi mwako kama kanisa Tukijua kwamba watunjua yale tuko nayo mioyoni mwetu. Unajua maswali yetu jioni ya leo. Ni asante ni kwa sababu ya kutupenda. Kupitia damu yako Yesu Kristo, ulisema yote ameisha. Tunajua kwamba Mungu huko pamoja na kikao hiki utatukomfort Bwana. We ni wafaraja ku tunaomba ukatutembere. Tutembere jioni ya leo. Tupengo mpya Bwana ya kuendelesha maisha yetu. Ni asante ni kwa sababu ya upendo wako mkuu. Kwa maana tuseme nini Bwana? Na tuambia tukushukuru kwa yote. Mazuri na mabaya tukushukuru. Jioni ya leo tunakushukuru ni kwa sababu umechukua imekuwa ni mapenzi yako. Ukachukua mmoja wetu mtumishi wako. Tunakutukuza, tunakuinua. Tunasema ni asante. Pokea sifa zote na utukufu. Bamba yetu wa mbinguni, twanjua shiria mikononi mwako. Tumekuja kukutukuza. Tumekuja baba yetu kukuomba. Ni kwa sababu ya stera. Tunakushukuru kwa maisha yale tumekaa naye. Na zaidi ni kwa sababu ya familia ya leki Mungu na wakabidhi mikononi mwako wakati huu. Tunaomba gofu mpya Bwana. Tunaomba ushindi wako uwashindanie. Wewe ndiye Mungu tegemeo letu. Tunajua kwamba wewe ni mchindi mno. Umechindania stera. Utachindania kila moja mwingine Bwana. Ni kwa sababu yake kuwa sio ushindi, hangekuwa amefika pale amefika. Wewe ni Bwana, wewe ni mtakatifu. Jioni ya leo tumekuja ibada hili. Ile tukokoboche Mungu na tukubuchane kwamba zote tuko safarini. Bari tu Tutafika kule tera amefika. Tuseme nini Bwana? Kuna mengi ambayo mipango mingi inapangwa ni kwa sababu ya kusafirisha stera. Safari zote mikononi mwako. Wanaosafiri na SGR, wanaosafiri na personal cars, wanaosafiri na mabasi, wanaosafiri mahali hata safari za bali na karibu. Safari zote mikononi mwako. Mipangilio ya aina yoyote mikononi mwako. Bwana panga pamoja na wao. Wapangie wewe ni kwa sababu uko na uwezo. Hakuna Mungu kama wewe. Resources zinahitaji Bwana. Ni kwa sababu ya kusafirisha mwili wa stera. Bwana ukatende maajabu yako. Ni asante Mungu. Ni kwa sababu tumekuona. Umekuwa nasi. Kuna watoto Bwana. Tunajua Bwana unawajua vyema. Na uko na Mungu wetu wa biguni uko na mipango miema. Juu ya maisha yao familia hiyo bwana sidi kuwatendea sende kuwainua na kuwashikiria kwa sababu bila wewe hawataweza tukubuke zote ambaye tumekuja mahali hapa tunaomba gofu mpya mipangilio yote iko mahali hapa bwana Mungu ukaanze nasi na umalize nasi. We ndio mwanzo wetu na mwisho wetu. Na tunajua kwamba wewe unaweza yote. In Jesus name we pray. Baba yetu uriye biguni jina lako litukuzwe ufamo wako na uje mapenzi yako yatimizwe hapa duniani kama uko biguni tupeleo riski yetu samena makosa yetu 
kama nasi wasamee wali tukosea usitie majaribu lakini utokoe na yule mwovu kwa ufalme wako na nguvu na utukufu sasa na hata milele amen amen bwana asifiwe tuketi wale wanaingia tusongee nimrudishie nami nitakuabudu na kutimisha nadhiri zangu wewe bwana nimrudishie bwana nini kwa ukarimu wote alionitenda haijakuwa rahisi na hatukwambia itakuwa rahisi nilijua nitaongoza nikauliza bwana anipe nguvu nikahubiriwa na roli moja ilikuwa imeandika mvalme alikuwa kijana siku moja so mimi nikasema aha kwa hivyo hata kama mimi na nguvu kiasi fulani itakuwa mpaka iwe kama mfalme kwa hivyo hata kama wewe pia uko hapa mfalme pia alikuwa kebei akawa mfalme tutapata nafasi ya kukaribishwa na chairman wa kanisa hili elder amos na pia amedabu na chairman wa ikamati elder please a uh, bwana sifiwe tusalimiane kwenye hewa a uh, ni sema ya kwamba kwa ajili ya wageni naitwa Moskimani Kristo ni bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu najua ya kwamba bwana atazidi kutupatia nguvu especially familia ya Nkune wa Mwangi uh, tunapoendelea katika hali ya kuwashikilia na kuwaombea kwa ajili ya wageni tumewakaribisha hapa kunaitwa PC ya Makupa niposa mpendwa wetu alikuwa anashiriki Uh, tulikuwa tunashiriki pamoja na yeye. Uh, upande wangu wa kulia ukiangalia hapo nje kuna pale ambapo unaweza kujisaidia upande huu ni kwa baba akina mama watapitia hapa waweze kuingia uh, sehemu yao. Ukiwa kuna ile hitaji yote ambayo ungehitaji na we ni mgeni ukiona mama yote ambaye amevaa kitambaa atakusaidia. Wewe Bwana wabariki tunapoendelea na ibada hii. Karibuni. Thank you chairman tutapata nafasi ya uibaji na tunaomba wibo moja moja ita debate unataka gani ya kutoka nayo au ya kusimama hapa mbele tutaanza na kule alikuwa na shiriki district inaitwa Mshomoroni tukitoka district ya Mshomoroni aliingia katika kwaya kwaya nayo iweze iba tukivika hapo nitawa guide kwa grupu hizo zingine mishomoroni Come 
kio tutapata wanakwaya wanakwaya wafuatwe na amazing couples followed by favored ladies
Thank you. Favored team. No. Amazing couples, then the favored, please. Amazing. Amazing. Now, you are Mbagongo Yakutosha, Lakini Kujeni Kuharaka. Please come. Nekore forori mwega ma Na tongete kia tuwaona Amugai ni atoire hokuo Ato dhode kagera musye Igoro kwa jaso Netonga shemani ya hokuo Igoro kwa jaso Netuga semani ya okwa Netoka ina nyembo jega Iri asha ya veru Ona mwoma rohoma itu Matika igwaru worenge Igoro kwa jeso Neto nga shemani ya okwa Igoro kwa jeso Neto nga shemani ya okwa Neto nga bage idhe vitu Tomo so Favored, favored couples, ladies, by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful Tigaware mwena wako kendo elera Noshia goro ya kwa neshigia hotire Tigawanja ragelia okanjera Tirei que eu quero E que roia já 
bless you so so much ni tawaita PCMF PCMF wakimaliza ndugu Kamau uh, waema ataiba moja PCMF akini ta nitaiti
After Kamau elders and spouses, Mijitarisha. Siku ya mavuno yesu, alipo kuja kunitawa. Machozi ya furaha, ya lintirika kwa uzuni. Nilipo ya gainchi lioni pa huzuni Mwili wa uzima mokozi yesu wali nivalisha Tuendeni watu wa mungu malaika walisema Tukam laki mokozi mfalme wa mani Dunia kwa eri sasa nina kwena kukumzika Kwa eri natabu zako duna kwena nchi mpya Nilipo karimbi ya mji Yesu wali wapanga watu Akatu pati ya taji za ushindi duniani Kati kati ya lisimama kila mtu wakamwona Utukufu wa uso wake mioyo ika urudika Tuendeni watu wa mungu malaika walisema Tukam laki mokozi mfalme wa mani dunia Kwa eri sasa tunakwenda kupumzika Kwa eri natabu zako tunakwenda nchi mpya Fura yangu ilizidi nilipowa ona wale Waze wangu wa imani wamekwisha bufuliwa Mauti imekimbia kuzimu haina nguvu Pamoja na tutakaha mawinguni kwenye mji Tuendeni Watu wa mungu malaika walisema Tukam laki mokozi mfalme wa mani Dunia kwa eri sasa tunakwenda kukumzika Kwa eri Tabu zako na kwenda nchi mpya Thank you Kamau Hizo group zote zimeimba Either Alec was in the group Or our sister Stella was in that group Evangelism msijui mtawapatia Mutukienda meru Na Ile grupu ingine sija patia. Na kini sasa nauliza 
elders and spouses waje guild alafu wataiba mtu mmoja evangelism aje asungumuze na mimi kolango on the screen please Nicolango moja wa chukua ni microphone Nicolango moja wa zini lango la bingu na wote wa ingia o watapata nafasi lango ndiye yesu bwana wote wa ingie kwake lango 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 la bingu Yesu ndiye lango hili hata sasa liwazi kwa wakubwa na wadogo tajiri na maskini lango ndiye Yesu bwana wote waingie kwake lango la Majozi tena Lango ndiye Yesu bwana Wote waingie kwake Lango 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 La bingu niliwazi Tukipita lango hili Tutatua kwa uzima lango ndiye Yesu bwana wote waingie kwake lango 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 la bingu niliwazi kimandu Kifungwa mara moja alitafunguliwa lango ndiye Yesu bwana wote waingie kwake lango 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 la bingu so much nitauliza team evangelism waje tumsifu bwana ndio nikipea guild tumalize uibaji itakuwa imefika hapo evangelism please come over
usikutana usiniache gizani bwana msada wako haukomi nilipeke aguka Kwisha si omwigine wakuniva mimi nita ombozo na nani ila wewe bwana kana mi si jineno Women's Guild wale wa guild wa stoke hapo wengine wa join Please Women's Guild Number 16 Number 16 Jeraga Jehova newega maodo ine mo Jeraga gai ya rogoshwa yetomi maya modenyo e nanye nyamukere mariama Maroka ndegeda Gaya Radio reke moke Mahida Mageda na koro Dware nse Dwari nende mbuno Mehamedia Nigrege tata inde Gai wa kwa jeraga Uhu wate Nyambu kere maria maroka Memorona kana meme gania Kekoro maroka negeda Kaya bara lioreke moke Na moma idoni maria nedana ita Mejove megano gandewo kona Ya kwa nechowe Ate yo de goshi da jamwa Rani na nye nyamu ke Re mare maroka Na mame moro na kana me Me gani ya ke koro Maroka ne geza Kai harari ore ke moke Ate yo ire ya denye na Atero amwere Ya no naga ya digande ye No moga po wake no Ate nyamo kere maria maroka Memoro na kana memega Ni ya gekoro maroka negeza Ya para llorar que moquer 
Sifiwe Aija kuwa rahisi Kufika hapa lakini ni mungu ametufikisha That is so good Tuta, Tutaka popokea yote ni yetu uh, Tutaingia Kabla tuingia Yoro J and Tributes Na wale wanajua wanazire Tribute Tumepokea pale Festre watakuwa karibu Kwa zile zingine hatuja chukua na tunajua ziko, zote tutasoma Friday, you allow us to do that. Nilikuwa kabla kufanya hivo, tuna wakati tutaombea familia, lakini nikuwa naomba wale wa familia ya Eric, wasimame na ya upande wa Stera, abayo wako, tuwajue. Tulikalibishwa pia, lakini tukalibishwa kwenu tuwajue. Dugu Ben. The other one, to na Dada Susan, na my brother there. Na wale wengine wakukula wanatalishia. So, you have seen you have a bigger family also around here. This is Eric and Stella's family. You also belong here. Karibuni sana, wapigiwe makofi. Thank you, you have supported your brother so well, and you are so happy. Nitauliza Secretary wa Women's Guild, aje atusome yoruje, Na hao wengine about nilitaja, takuwa na tributes about stakuwako. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, Lucy Kariuki, I am saved this evening. I'm going to take you through the Euroje in English version. Uh, the Euroje of Stera Kawira Mwangi birth, Stera Kawera Mwangi was born on 12th December 1980 at Karitha village, Mwangi sub-location, Igamba, Ngombe location, Nithi sub-county, Tharakanithi county. She was the eighth born child to the late Mr. Daniel Karema and Mrs. Juliet Siabinyu. She was sister to Kenywa, Misheni, Mudhoni Njue, Mwenda, Karoki, Mutembei, and Wanja. Stella was stepdaughter to Mrs. Charity Sianjoka. She was stepsister to Kagendo, Kanini, Kataka, Wanja, Getonga, and Kabula. Stella was daughter-in-law to Mrs. Evantas Nkune and the late Enda Shambaka Nkune. She was sister-in-law to Benson, late Patrick, Justin, Franklin, Milka, Kerry Joy, Caxton, Eustace, and McKenna. Education. Sarah attended Kagoro Primary School between 1986 to 1994. She proceeded to Jury High School in 1995 to 1999. 
She proceeded to Kaimosi Friends College and later joined Nairobi Aviation School for a clearing and forwarding course. Stella worked in hotel industry upon successful completion of college and later started her own business which she carried on until her demise. Stella was very active in community development and social services to Kajueni community where she lived, Christianity. Stella was born and raised in Presbyterian family setup. During her early age, she was an active student minister in brigade and church school. She served as a youth chair and girl brigade at Ifiliga Parish in the year 2007. Sarah, in the year 2007, Sarah joined Makupa Parish, where she served in various leadership capacity, especially in evangelism ministry. Marriage. Sarah Kawera was a cherished wife to Elder Eric Mwagin Kune, PCEA Makupa Parish, Mombasa. She met her love in uh, she met her love Eric Mwangi, and they were joined in a holy matrimony at the PCA Makupa Church in 2010. Sarah had an outstanding character, a great woman of faith who kept her marriage vows in an uncharitable way. Stella's marriage life is a testimony that will encourage many generations to come. Health and demise. Stella lived a healthy life until 19th January. 2023, when she delivered her triplets and later developed complications. Stella went to be with the Lord in the early hours of 20th January 2023. She is survived by her husband, Elder Eric Mwangi, her sons, Samuel and John, and daughter Faith. Lest in peace, fry and shine with the angels. Stella has fought the good, worthy, honorable, and noble fight. She has finished the race. She has kept family, held the faith. Second Timothy 4, 7. May her soul rest in eternal peace. To Tapatia spouses, who are elders, then amazing couples, you also have one, and Nyari, Nyari South. Please, Sarah, you'll do that. Please. Bwana Sifiwe, naitwa Mrs. Mushiri, nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana. These are elders uh, spouses tribute to our dear sister who we used to work together. To our dear sister Stella, you have been a dear sister to us since you joined our fellowship in 2019. We have felt your presence in every way. You are loving and kind nature and the passion that you want for the ministry of Christ. As you embark on this home journey, we will always cherish the memories, we will treasure the moments with hope and faith that we shall see you again that beautiful morning. For those who believe in Christ, though they die, they shall live again. Our hearts are broken with the pain in our hearts we accept his well, but we know you are at a better place. May your soul rest in eternal peace. It is well with our souls. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. We shall have the, their team, the couples, amazing couples. My name is Jacqueline Mwangi, and I am going to read a tribute on behalf of the amazing couples to our dear sister Stella Kawera Mwangi. Words cannot explain the pain in our hearts as we remember all the sweet moments we shared. You, you have always been so kind and warm. You brought so much life 
and fun in our meetings. Every time we visited your home, you hosted us with so much love and generosity. We fondly called you governor, and you always assured us that serikali yako iko imara. Even when we experienced hard times as a group, you always reminded us that God is in control. Thursday 19th was a day full of jubilation for us as the amazing couples. When we received the news that you have received your bundles of joy, but our celebration was cut short by your untimely and sudden departure. We really thank God that he allowed you to experience the joy of motherhood, though it was short-lived. If prayers could have saved your life, you would still be here with us. For we really prayed that fateful night, pleading with God to save your life. But God chose to give you eternal rest. God did his will. We still have a lot of disbelief and unanswered questions. But we are hopeful that we shall meet again on that beautiful shore. Though it is so hard to say this, but we have to let you rest. And so may your soul rest in eternal peace, Mama Faith, Mama Samuel, and Mama John. It is well with our souls. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my I was taught me to say. It is well, it is well with my soul. Please, uh, Nyali South. Praise God. My name is Priscilla. I will read the tribute of Nyali South family. Tribute to our mom, our sister, and our dear friend, Stella. Stella, when you joined the Nyali South family in the year 2019, things changed in the district. Being the governor you are, you led us so well. You, together with Elder Eric, lit the fire of prayers. You are a woman of faith who believed in the power of prayer your passion and love for God and service in our district is a beautiful testimony of what the Lord can do in and through a person full of devotion to him and his work. Stella, you are so warm and motherly. Whenever one of our members had an issue, you had a way of detecting and you would organize on how to assist without the knowledge of others. You are so kind and humble. You treated everyone with respect and love. You are such a sweet soul. Stella, when, you, when time came for you to leave Nyali South, you assured us of your love for us. You told us, and I quote, Nimetoka Nyali South na baraka zangu zote. In November 2022, we visited you as Nyali South ladies. We surprised you because we did not want to trouble you. You are so excited. We praised and thanked God for what he had done to you and promised to be back, Woshogiamwana. You told us God had allowed you to feel how women feel when carrying a child. Stella saying goodbye to you is not easy. It is sad. The pain is immense. But we have to accept the will of God. He chose a sweet and a beautiful flower from his garden. Stella, although you are no longer here with us, we shall forever cherish your counsel and treasure the memories we shared. We shall miss you dearly, Stella. Rest in peace, Stella. Thank you. Uh, 
wale tulikuwa nao firstly tulikuwa tumepanga hivyo lakini naomba my sister Esther wa mchungaji Jaramba you you did as well when in the hospital and uh, a note still has come you say something please if your tribute is still written the way it was please come and read it It is good to have a friend near you. We appreciate what my sister did and the pastor. May God bless you. Tribute from a friend, Esther Jaramba. Stella, you are a covenant friend, a sister to me. You kept telling me to be a strong woman in this walk of faith because it was defined how we came into your life. You taught me the character of a noble wife. We ministered together, shared issues of this life together. You called me your covenant, God, dear girl. The pregnancy journey was so smooth accompanying you to every clinic that was such a joy to me and to you. I remember the first day at clinic, you kept asking me how one feel when, when expectant. I assured you that God, it shall be well with us. Calling and checking on you on a daily basis was such a joy. Indeed, we share in Philippians 1.6. Being confident of these very things, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day, Jesus Christ. Little did I know that the divine assignment God had preserved you for was to bring forth the battles of joy, then you leave me. We shared joyful moments after delivering word, thanking God for the literal angels. The last moment you told me you had saved some information in your phone in case anything happens. Only later to learn it was the names you gave to your babies. God allowed us to receive the little angels. We made fun, loved together. As you said, I'm now a mother of not one but three kids. What a blessing indeed, God is a less taller. It was such a joy, my dear. Your face was so bright. It is a mystery how things changed. You told me you are feeling less stressed and dizzy. Those were your last ones before the nurse took you away. Your husband and my husband were praying, holding your leg as you struggled to breathe, and you could respond, amen. That was your last word to us. Stella, you are an intercessor. We called the church to pray for you, and they surely did. The will of God was done. I'm heartbroken, I'm in pain. It still feels like a bad dream. That I will wake up from, I will cherish all the moments we shared together. The laughter, the high and rose. Thank you for giving us precious gifts. Somewhere, John and Faith. Now we look forward to bringing up these beautiful babies, all the plans we had for them. My dear sister, promise to take care of you, little angels. I will leave to tell you, children, how great their mother was. They are so blessed to have such a great woman as their mom. Your memories will live on, shine on your way, dear list, till we meet again. Amen. Thank you. Yes, mani na kutumaini peke yangu. We shall have the reading. We 
shall have the reading uh, from uh, Sister. From, where is it? Yeah, my sister from uh, John. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kanisa. Masomo yetu yatotoka katika kitabu cha Joshua mlango ni watatu, mstari wa kwanza hadi kumi na saba. Joshua chapter 3 verse 1 to 17. Joshua akaondoka asubuhi na mapema nao wakatoka Shitimu. Wakafika mto wa Yordani yeye na wana wa Israeli wote wakakaa hapo kabla ya kuvuka ikawa baada ya siku tatu makinda wakapita katikati ya maringo wakamwamuru wakawaamuru watu wote wakisema mtakapoliona sanduku la agano la Bwana Mungu wenu na makuhani walawi wakichukua ndipo mtakapoondoka hapa mlipo na kulifuatia na, na kulifuata lakini na iwe nafasi kati <coughs> na iwe nafasi kati ya nyinyi na lile sanduku kama dhiraha elfu mbili kiasi chake msilikaribie mpate kuijua njia ambayo hamna budi kuiendea kwa maana amjapita njia hiyo bado Yoshua akawaambia watu jitakaseni maana kesho Bwana atatenda mambo ya ajabu kati yenu. Kisha Yoshua akawaambia makuhani. Akasema, "Linweni sanduku la agano. Mkavuke mbele ya hao watu." Wakalinua sanduku la agano. Wakatangulia mbele ya watu. Bwana akamwambia Yoshua, "Hivi leo nitaanza kukutukuza mbele ya Israeli wote wapate kujua ya kuwa mimi nitakuwa pamoja na wewe kama nilivyokuwa pamoja na Musa nawe waamuru hao makuhani waliochukua sanduku la agano ukawaambie mtakapofika ukingo wa mji ya Yodani simameni katikati Yodani simameni katika Yodani basi Yoshua akawambia wana wa Israeli njohoni huku mkayasikie maneno ya Bwana Mungu wenu Yoshua akasema kwa jambo hili mtajua ya kuwa Mungu aliye hai yukati yenu na ya kuwa hamtakosa kwa <coughs> njohoni huku mkayasikie maneno ya Bwana Mungu wenu Yoshua akasema kwa jambo hili mtajua ya kuwa Mungu aliye hai yukati yenu na ya kuwa hata kosa kuwatole, kuwatoa mbele yenu mka, mka anani, na mhiti na mhivi na mperizi na mgish, mgigashi na mwamori na miebusi. tazama sanduku la agano la Bwana wa dunia yote linavuka mbele yenu na kuingia Yodani. Basi sasa toaeni watu kumi na wawili katika kabila za Israeli. Kila kabila mtu mmoja. Itakuwa wakati nyayo za wakuhani walichukua walichukuao sanduku la Bwana, Bwana wa dunia yote. Zitakaposimama katika mji Yodani. Hayo maji ya Yodani yata Hayo maji 
ya Yordani yatatingika maji yale yashukayo kutoka juu nayo yatasimama kama chungu hata ikawa hao watu walipotoka katika hema zao ili kuvuka Yordani makuhani walichukua sanduku la agano wakatangulia mbele ya watu basi hao walichukua hilo sanduku walipofika Yordani na nyayo za makuhani walipolichukua sanduku zilipotiwa katika katika maji ya ukingo maana Yordani huja hata kingo zake na kufurika wakati wote wa mavuno ndipo hayo maji yaliyoshuka kutoka juu yakasimama Wakain, wakainuka yakawa chungu mbali sana huko Adamu mji ule ulio karibu na sheretani na maji yale yaliyo yaliyotelemkia bahari ya Arabi yaani bahari ya chumvi yakatindika ya kabisa watu wakavuka kukukabili Yeriko saba na ya mwisho na hao makuhani walio lichukua sanduku la agano la Bwana wakasimama imara mahali pakavu katikati ya Yordani Israeli wote wakavuka katika nchi kavu hata taifa lile lote likaisha kuvuka Yordani hilo ndilo neno la Bwana na Bwana bariki neno lake amen Thank you sister uh, Rose for that tutasimama tusaidiwe pamoja na wale wa system tuseme ndugu yangu tu baharini twenende mji ule wa binguni na meli yetu hakika itafika nilikuwa kwa tukitendeza na mchungaji yeye yeah, ndiye atawasaidia kuongoza hii haya basi timu yetu ya mitandao watueke ule wimbo na ni wimbo ambao naupenda sana wakati kama huu sababu umeimbwa na watendo Mhm mhm Ya kipiga 
Yeah, 